Hi, I'm Mark and I'm all about psychology, tech and productivity and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Bento, which is a new app designed to reduce task overwhelm. So as I mentioned in a previous video, if you can think of a task management app, I've probably tried it. OmniFocus, Todoist, Tick Tick, Things 3, Microsoft To Do, Apple Reminders, even pen and paper, I've tried them all. And these all broadly do the same thing. They allow you to capture tasks as they're coming at you and then organize them into priority based on due date, importance, and so on. And the problem here is if you're anything like me, you spend ages getting your task management system set up perfectly and then it all goes really well for a few weeks and then you have one of those days when life just happens. Now, like a lot of people, I work as part of a large team and I often start the day with the intention of working through some important tasks, but inevitably something urgent requires my attention and some of those tasks can fall by the waste. Now those important tasks don't disappear, they just get shunted on a day or a week to be actioned and before you know it you can wake up one day with this seemingly insurmountable list of tasks that's never going to get done. And this is where Bento is really different. So Bento has been born from the mind of Francesco from the Keep Productive YouTube channel. I've been an admirer of his for ages so I was excited to see what he and his team came up with when it came to a productivity methodology. So what is it? So first of all it's not a replacement to do app, they're really clear about this. At least it's not designed in that way. It's based on a specific methodology, pack, flow, and focus. And in the pack phase, it utilizes the concept of building a bento box, which has large, medium, and small compartments. And each compartment represents a different classification of tasks. So large is a deep focused task that might take 90 minutes or more. Medium is a task that doesn't require you to hide in a cave to get it done, but will require some focus. And small is an easy quick win task that might be 15 to 30 minutes and also might boost your well-being. So it could be filing out some emails or going for a quick walk or maybe even a yoga session. You then apply a workflow to those tasks. We'll look at those workflows in just a second. And then the app encourages you to focus by a Pomodoro style technique in order to get these tasks done. So let's get in and use Bento with some live examples. So first of all, here's my task manager of choice at the moment. This is Things 3. I love this interface, but it does often fall victim to that problem of just having to shunt tasks on a day or a week. And I can end up looking at a task list for today and it's, you know, I've got 20 or so things that need doing. That's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna try and chunk these down using Bento. And first thing, look at this gorgeous interface. Now you can choose from a variety of backgrounds here in the settings. I really like this one here with the water. And you can see here in the top left, there are also some links to the methodology, which is a helpful reminder for anyone who's new to any of this kind of thinking. So we've got an option here to create a new Bento from scratch, or we can use a template. So we're going to start with a template, and we can see here it gives us some suggested items to work with. So we've got shutdown, admin, journal, morning, and work pause. I really like this idea, especially the journaling angle. I think people often don't see the value in journaling because it can be quite an overwhelming idea to start a journal. This is a really nice way of chunking that down into manageable pieces. So if we just come out of templates and start a new Bento, it's going to ask us first for a workflow. So we have eat that frog, that starts with your largest task first, and then medium to small. We have climb the summit, which orders the portions medium, large, and small. And then slow burn is best for a low energy start, so we start small, medium, and then finish large. So I'm going to feel like eating that frog today, so let's try that. And I quite like the idea of running this as a morning bento, so I might do a different order for this afternoon. So I'm going to add my large task, which today is a report that needs writing. And it suggested 90 minutes, but I can actually customise this if it's going to take me shorter or longer. Now my medium task is going to be some filing that I've been putting off. And then my small task is going to be a well-being one. I'm going to take a little walk out in the fresh air to post some letters. So let's chow down on that frog and start the timer. And we've got a gorgeous animation here and some calming focus tracks playing. I like this. Right, let's get on with the task. Okay, so I actually finished that ahead of time. Really lovely sense of accomplishment, finally getting that off my to-do list. I've been using this app for a few days now. I really like it. It has certainly helped with that sense of overwhelm and it has helped throw some simplicity around what was actually quite a complex to-do list system that I'd set up. And I do have some suggestions for improvements as well. Now, I do like the simplicity of the three 
workflows, but there are some other combinations when you look at the possibilities of small, medium and large. For example, if I'm doing this over the course of the day, it's quite common that I will start with a medium task, then hit a small one just before my energy levels drop before lunch, and then I'll tackle the big one after lunch when I've had a rest and some fuel or fresh air. So once you've built your box, of course, you can tackle them in whatever order you want, but it would be nice to have that option in terms of the workflows. Also, if you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know I'm a massive geek. So I like to see patterns and trends and data. It's for this reason I often use Session as an app on my Mac or my phone. It's a Pomodoro timer that allows you to do this kind of thing and then see the breakdown of how your days have panned out with some reflection space in between tasks. So the advantage of Bento over Session is that Session does constrain you into a very strict Pomodoro timer, uh, depending on whatever task you've got to do, whereas with Bento you can have that flexibility of small, medium, large, as well as flexibility over the time that each task might take. But some kind of reporting over what you've done would be pretty cool to look back on. So those are some initial thoughts and my overview on Bento, an app that's designed to liberate you from an overwhelming to-do list. I've left some links in the description below to find out more about the app and its creators. From my perspective, definitely recommended for anyone who's suffering from task overwhelm and looking for that lovely dopamine hit that comes from clicking complete on a task. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you enjoyed this video, folks, please be kind, hit the like button, maybe even a cheeky subscribe. I'll see you next time.